The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need some help, please feel free to give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney at O'Flaherty Law. I practice here in Iowa, and my practice areas include business and transactional matters, as well as family law. Now, today we're going to talk about remarriage, cohabitation, and how they might affect spousal support in Iowa. Now, just to give you a bit of background, spousal support are financial payments that one spouse makes to another during or following a divorce. There are three main categories of spousal support. There's periodic or traditional, which are just payments that are made until uh, one of many things happens that uh, justifies modification or termination of support. There's also reimbursement and rehabilitative. Now, in Iowa, modification of spousal support requires a showing that there has been a substantial change in circumstances. Now, most of the time, this is fairly simple. For example, if one of the spouses passes away, the alimony payments will be terminated. However, in a lot of other situations, things become tricky, specifically uh, cohabitation and then remarriage of the receiving spouse. What we'll address quickly is what happens in both of those circumstances. If the party receiving spousal support is engaged in a long-term relationship and they share a residence, assets, or income, they are considered cohabitating. The establishment of cohabitation in and of itself does not justify uh, modification or termination of support. What needs to happen in this circumstance is that the paying spouse must go to court and file a motion either to reduce or modify support. To get a modification or termination, the paying spouse must prove not only that the cohabitation occurred, but that the receiving spouse is financially benefiting from the cohabitation and no longer requires the support. Now, what happens if the uh, receiving spouse has remarried? In this circumstance in Iowa, um, if the party receiving support remarries, alimony does not automatically terminate. Some divorce decrees require alimony to continue even if the receiving spouse marries another person. However, should the divorce decree not address remarriage, either the paying, uh, paying spouse or receiving spouse may file a mo motion to modify or end the spousal support. If the receiving spouse wants to continue the spousal support after remarriage, they must go to court and show justifiable grounds for continuing to receive this support. Uh, most of the time, however, uh, spousal support will be terminated. There is also one more thing to mention. In the circumstance that the receiving spouse uh, terminates their second marriage, uh, they might be entitled still to continue receiving uh, support later on. I hope this has been informative and uh, thank you again. Hi, this is Kevin O'Flaherty again. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we have many geographical locations for your convenience, so if you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. Thanks again.